That's right, today we'll be talking about how to start your junk removal business in detail and how to turn it into passive income. Basically, I'm gonna tell you the story of how I got my business started, my background, where I came from, and what I did to get where I'm at. What's up, fellow Earthlings? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're giving away the weekly prize. Thanks to this person, Dylan Dunn, right here, for commenting on my channel and constantly supporting us and watching all of our videos. And don't worry, guys, if you haven't won a prize yet, there are plenty more prizes to be won. I have literally almost endless prizes to give away on this channel. Watch my videos on Monday, hit the like button, make sure you're subscribed, and put the keyword down below from that video. That's how you enter to win these prizes, guys. Thanks again to Austin for this package. Let's see what we got inside. We know it's a Snoopy, of course. A drone box. Awesome. Let's put this down before I hurt myself. Ah, it's clear Snoopy. Didn't know it was clear. Awesome. My first year I made $4,000 and let it go junk removal. Now I'm making $250,000 a year with the junk removal business, which allows me to step away from being in the field and actually work on my business. What do I mean by passive income? Well, I mean exactly what it sounds, income that is super easy to acquire. So make your junk removal business an easy income for yourself as an owner of a succeeding company. So I'm talking about paying yourself a smaller check and doing a lot less labor in the end. Hire people, delegate, delegate, delegate. There is always someone ready to learn and eager to work and earn that money. So I wanna take you guys back, way back, to a time before roll off dumpsters and dump trailers didn't even exist. Employees were extinct and I was all on my own in the world of junk. It was the year 2016, and with the smile the size of Texas, I had quit my job of six years being a gourmet chef. Now, I wasn't a gourmet chef all six years. I started out as a pizza boy and worked my way up. I quit that job, and I was on a journey to become an entrepreneur. Not only just any entrepreneur, but a successful entrepreneur. It was a huge sigh of relief for me to be able to leave that job. It took huge rhinoceroses off my shoulders and I was able to worry about myself, me, myself, and I, including my family. My mom owned an estate sale company and I got a job with her. I also got a job with another buddy of mine who owned a junk removal business and I helped him to get that thing started. Today he's making about four million a year and that's just a guess. After I quit my job and started working for both of these companies, basically part-time, while I was figuring out what I wanted to do, I had to sell one of my cars, leaving me with just an Avalanche pickup truck. I had to sell my motorcycle, it was a Honda 900 RR, for those of you that are motorcyclists out there. I really hated to sell that. I also was a avid fish tank collector, and uh, I loved my fish, guys. Uh, so that was my hobby. As a chef, I had a hobby to collect fish and just have these beautiful fish tanks. I had three 55 gallons, one 35 gallon, and a 20 gallon fish tank. I had to get rid of everything besides the 35 gallon fish tank, which I still have to this day. 
So in other words, I became a minimalist because I needed money. And honestly, that felt like a big weight lifted off my shoulders as well. I basically only had a TV and our beds left in the house after I sold everything. I had to get this money so that I could survive and put it into my new business that I was creating. One day, me and my mom met up for breakfast. We sat down at the table and we started to think what kind of names I could put out there for my new company, for my new brand. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe AH junk removal, maybe Austin Hires junk removal, maybe Hire Standards junk removal. I knew I wanted junk removal in there somehow, so that's why I was going that direction. I wanted something, something junk removal. That way it's just super easy to identify the company as a junk removal company. Now, we were sitting there at breakfast and she started telling me a story about one of her estate sale company clients. They have to do a walkthrough with the client before they sell everything in the house to see what they want for sale and what they don't want for sale. So as they're walking through the house, my mom's like, does this go, does that go, is this going? And the lady's just the whole time, let it go, let it go, let it go. <laughs> and my mom's telling me the story just like this, let it go. And uh, I'm just cracking up. And at that time, it clicked. It was like, wow, mom, what if I named it Let It Go Junk Removal? What do you think? Like, Let It Go Junk Removal. This just gave me a great idea. See, this is why talking to people, two minds are better than one, because stuff just comes up like this all the time, all the time. Um, so anyway, we, we came up with Let It Go Junk Removal right there at breakfast that morning. That night, I had signed up for the state license for Let It Go Junk Removal LLC, and I was an official business. And from that day forward, we were known as Let It Go Junk Removal, and I am super grateful for that morning. I gathered all the necessary tools, documents, and knowledge that I could find on the internet or in the stores or just general knowledge knowing what I needed to remove these items. I got to work on making my Facebook, my Google business account, Instagram, and Yelp, and basically any other free platform that I could find on the internet because that's where I wanted to start. I didn't want to spend all this money up front because I was already buying the trailer, I was already bought the name, and $100 to buy a business name at the time was a lot of money for me. I started out with all of these free platforms, and that started to bring me the business. I was making $800 in two days, you know, $400 a day. And when you're just starting out, $400 is amazing because you're just you, you're just a truck, everything's paid off. Now as I moved on, I discovered I need bigger, more heavy duty trucks, bigger, more heavy duty trailers. And I saved my money and I bought that truck and I bought that trailer. And yes, I used credit and I leveraged it to my advantage. I used credit on the truck and I was making payments on that. So if you use credit right guys, you can get your business started faster than you even know. Basically without credit, I wouldn't be where I am today. Now. At this very moment, I'm almost debt free and I can say proudly by the end of the year, I should be completely and totally debt free. I got my bigger truck, my bigger trailer, my bigger equipment and then I started to hire people. Anybody that would work, the guy down the road, the person on Facebook, the person off of Craigslist, the person I met at Walmart because I just needed somebody there, an extra hand to help lift this stuff. You can't do it alone for too long. I've probably hired 50 or 60 people in the last four years. That being said, I only found one good person right now and that is Richard Jenkins. Shout out to you bro and I appreciate you helping me help this business grow. You guys need to find people like that that are going to be positive minded. They believe in you because if they don't believe in you and your dream, they should not be part of this business. They should not be part of your business. Everybody that is around you, that surrounds you should believe in you or else how the heck are you going to believe in yourself? What's up guys? If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for me today, trying to get this video to 100 likes. It's right down below. That's why I surround myself constantly with people that believe in me, people with positive vibes and people that push me, people that hold me to what I say I'm going to do. Because if you don't have people like that, people that are going to hold you to what you say you're going to do in life, you're never going to grow that business to a passive income like I have or like you want to. Now I only work on Saturdays and I don't work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday or Sunday. 
in the field. I don't do any heavy lifting except for on Saturdays, guys. So my body is feeling so much better just from that. And guess what? I'm making more money than I ever have because I'm outside of the business. I'm not stuck in the field having to do these jobs that any other person can do. The easy part is lifting and removing the junk. The hard part, guys, is getting that growth and scaling your business and making sure that your numbers are profiting, making sure that you're cutting down on expenses that don't need to be spent. Like I said, guys, I'm making a lot more money working on my business from the outside than I am in the business. So this is how you're gonna get your dumpster rental or junk removal or any service industry business to scale is taking risks, getting outside of the business and working on it from the outside, hiring people that are gonna be positive, believe in you and do what you ask out in the field, what you've done from the beginning to build your business. So I wanted to make this video to motivate you guys that are out there just starting your junk removal businesses and maybe even you, you guys that have been going for a couple of years but you haven't got to the point where you can kind of step away from your business and work on it from the outside. Money, 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 money. Eh. Just remember guys that money never comes easy and you always have to put hard work into it. Passive income, easy money only comes after hard work. That's the truth of it. So if you were looking at this video to see how you can become, you know, super rich, super quick, and your business can be running on its own, I'm sorry for you. You have to put a lot of hard work in. I'm glad you watched this video. Please hit that like button down below if you enjoyed it and if it was informational or motivational or inspirational. Any one of those, go ahead and hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already because I got great content coming out every single week. We'll see you guys next time. I'm out of here.